Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone from Grand Prairie, Texas. Right now I'm in the truck by myself. Kayla and her brother wanted to run over at Target and it gave me the perfect opportunity to go check out this Don Pablo's behind me that's abandoned. Um, actually it was by surprise as we were coming up the highway and I just happened to look off to the side and saw that this was abandoned. I wanted to check it out and they actually needed to run into Target, she and her brother. So and I don't want to go into Target. I, I'm not in the mood to go into a big department store right now. So I said, well, you guys go in there and get whatever you need. I'll go do the video. So let's go check it out and see how it looks. It's 97 degrees right now. So let's get this over with. <laughs> and I'm just kidding about getting it over with. I enjoy doing this. But let's get out there and then get back into the truck in the cold AC. Here you go, guys. Another Don Pablo's. I only recognize it because of the design on the building. It's like a couple of the other ones that I've done, like the one in Michigan and the one in Monroeville. So that's a heck of a find. Now, as for when this closed, I couldn't tell you. I don't know the first thing as to when this one closed their doors. But it is an iconic Don Pablo's though. Can't really see anything through these doors except my reflection. So we'll move around a little bit. Right there, Don Pablo's. Even with the sticker. Oh look, that's plexiglass. Huh, I wonder why. Hey, there's construction going on, so that's what all that equipment is that you hear banging around. All right, this isn't necessarily the greatest window to look through. Nah, not really. It's all dirty, too. Let's continue on. Let's go over to one of these windows here. Uh, see what we can see in this one. The bar. <laughs> nah, we'll zoom back out. There, you get a better view, even with the blinds in the way. Got skylights in this one. Cool. All right, let's continue on. We'll walk around this place, get out into the parking lot here. Nice parking lot too. Great shape. Everything's in great shape here, except for that little pothole there. Looks like they were tearing up the landscaping around here. Maybe they were getting ready to do something with this place. Nothing to see on this side. It's just your typical Don Pablo's. Man, that came as a surprise. And actually, while we're here, I don't know if I'll be able to check it or not, check it out or not, but across the road, but way back there is an abandoned, uh, I think it's abandoned, Coles. So we're gonna go check that out too, maybe, and put that in a different video if possible. Here's their garbage area. This place is hurting, hurting pretty bad. Yep. take a look back here oh, I didn't expect to see this that goes inside the restaurant I'm not gonna check it or anything I don't think it'll open up anyway doorbell no yeah. Uh oh. It rang. <laughs> Let's continue on. And I'm hurrying up because there's a car parked right here. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> but yeah, that's a look at the back of the restaurant anyway. I don't know why there's a car parked here. Maybe we gotta look through these windows here. 
Or are there windows on this side? It might be easier on this side. Yeah, we got some over here. Actually, probably look through that door. See what we can see through the door, if anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you get an excellent view of the restaurant now. Got water damage in there. I like how there looks to be like a telephone pole in there, but they did that for aesthetics. It might actually supply power to the rest of the building. At least you get to see the entire inside now in the fountain right there. Cool. Let's go walk around a little bit more. So you got to see basically the entire inside. And then we can peek through this window because the blind is up partially. Take a peek in here. I know the windows are very dirty though. Yeah, see they're pretty pretty dirty though, so it's hard to see through these ones. But at least you get a view in there. And it was a cool find. But no Don Pablo's hair. If you know anything about this location, obviously let me know in the uh, comments. When did this one close? I didn't even know this was here. Nobody did. We just passed it on the highway. I looked, saw it, recognized it, said, ooh, Don Pablo's, and got off the highway and turned around and got back here as quickly as I could. But anyway, that's a wrap from here. All right, I'm going to take off. I got to go back over to Target and pick up Kayla and her brother. But cool, at least it gave me the opportunity to come out here and check out this old Don Pablo's and see what it was about, see what's going on. And obviously nothing's going on with it just sitting empty thank you I'm good anyway <laughs> so nothing going on here and from the looks of it it hasn't been used for anything since Don Pablo has closed this location and as to when that was I couldn't say but at least we got to check it out and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give the video a like if you're not a subscriber you know what to do and with that said, I'm taking off, so take care, everybody. Stay awesome, and have a Don Pablo's delicious day. Car. <laughs> Bye, everybody.